Hey everyone, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to dropship on Shopify from Amazon. So essentially, I'm going to be breaking down everything you need to know in order to connect your Shopify store to Amazon products. We're going to be installing the Amazon application and then setting up and integrating the application, as this will allow us to seamlessly import the Amazon products to our store. So without much further ado, let's get right into the video. So before we can link the two platforms together, there is an important first step, and that's setting up an Amazon Associate account. This is Amazon's affiliate program that will allow you to earn commissions by promoting and selling their products on your own website or store. So to get started, log into your Amazon account and click on product linking. And if you don't have an associate's account yet, then no worries. You can head over to the Amazon account for your country or region. And then scroll down the Amazon website until the very bottom at the footer where you will see make money with us. And then click become an affiliate. From there, you will be taken to the Amazon Associates sign up form. It's very straightforward and easy to fill in. All you have to do is provide some basic details, such as your name, address, a phone number, and then link a social media account or some kind of platform that you have some audience on. And once you've done that, you will get full access to Amazon Associates and you are now able to get your very own affiliate link that you can use in order to earn commissions on every single sale that you refer. So once our associates account is all set up and approved, we can now connect it to our Shopify store. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to install the Amazon integration application. So let's move over to Shopify, log into your store's dashboard, and then onto the left sidebar, you will see apps. And then from there, you want to search for the Amazon Importer Spreader application. You will find the application with thousands of reviews, most of which are positive, and it actually starts at a $5 per month for the basic plan. However, there is a seven day free trial from which you can try any one of these plans that you are seeing and actually give this application a shot before committing to a plan. However, any one of these plans will give you unlimited product imports and you will still have your Amazon button link. The other plans would provide you with some more features such as analytics, a Chrome extension that is very useful actually, the auto sync and the geolocalized features. However, for now, let's go ahead and click add application or install for the Amazon Importer Spreader application. If you work with Amazon and Shopify together, then this is one of the most important applications that you will need to install. Once the application is installed, you can go ahead and view it by clicking on the application that you now have it onto your store dashboard. And then it will open a different tab that will look something like this. From the application's homepage, you can navigate through the different sections and settings. At the very top, you will see options for the homepage, settings panel, the tools section, and some settings about your account. But the very first important thing is that we want to click on the settings tab and then make sure that we have selected the right country. This is the Amazon affiliate ID country. So if you've made your Amazon associates account using amazon.com, then you want to select the United States. And if you've made your Amazon associates account using amazon.de, for example, then you would want to select Germany. Input your affiliate slash associate ID and then click save. With your Amazon Associates account all integrated, you are now ready to start importing actual products to your Shopify store. And as you will notice, using this application to import products is incredibly easy. So hop over to Amazon and find a product listing that you want to add. It can be really anything. And once you find your product, you will copy the products listing URL from your browser, head back to the spreader application and click add product. Paste that URL into the field and the application will start automatically importing all the product data, images, descriptions, pricing, everything. And depending on the product and how many files it really has to be imported, it may take a little while, but it's a total hands-off process. So from here, it's a waiting kind of thing and you just let the application do its work. And once it's finished uploading, you can click the edit button and this will open the product editor right within the Shopify dashboard. From here, you will have full control to customize how this Amazon product will appear and be presented on your online store. For example, you may want to shorten the long product title or tweak the description to be more on brand. Or of course, maybe add some taglines and optimize for the SEO, it's entirely up to you. Once you've made all your edits and adjustments, click save product and just like that, the item from Amazon will be live and listed in your Shopify store's catalog. You can even click on view on website for a preview of how it will look like to your customers. Now, of course, adding a single product is just the start, but the real power comes from leveraging Amazon's massive catalog to quickly build out your own Shopify inventory. So an awesome feature of the Spreader application is the ability to sync and re-import product data with a single click. So if you go back to the apps dashboard and hit the sync button, then it will re-pull all of the latest information from Amazon and update any listings that you've already imported. 
And this is particularly useful for products that frequently have pricing, description, or image updates on Amazon's end. With the Sync tool, your Shopify store will always be aligned and reflecting the most current data for those products. And finally, one setting to pay close attention to is the markup pricing option. This will allow you to set a multiplier that will automatically increase the price of imported Amazon products on your Shopify store. For example, a 1.2x multiplier would list a $50 product from Amazon for $60 on your storefront. And then that means that you would make more money from this product. And while it may be tempting for higher profit margins, I actually don't recommend going too aggressive with mock-up pricing. If your customers start noticing a consistent and significant upcharge compared to Amazon's prices, then they will likely just buy directly from Amazon instead of your store. And then you would miss out on the mock-up plus the commission that you would have otherwise gotten. So my advice would be to keep the mock-up pricing modest if used at all. You want the balance of fair pricing that still incentivizes purchases through your storefront for maximum commission revenue. And that will be all on today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you have any other questions in the comment section down below. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.